Hello my dear students, in this lecture we will see one numerical on all the 5 theories together. Right, now the question is, question is, a cylindrical component is subjected to torsion, estimate the maximum shear stress permitted according to different theories of failure in terms of SYT. Now they are asking you to take Poisson's ratio 0 0.3, Young's modulus 2 into 10 to the power 5, Newton per mm square and factor of safety equal to 1. Now my dear students, as the question is to find maximum shear stress permitted, right? that means we have to find tau maximum, we have to find tau maximum. Now here as they are asking to consider factor of safety is equal to 1, therefore this maximum shear stress permitted will be the shear yield strength. Yes, yes, y. This will be the shear yield strength. Yes, yes, y. Then this value we have to calculate as per different theories of failure. Right. Now, in question it is given that the cylindrical component is subjected to a torsion. Means loading on this component, let us say a cylindrical component. If I consider cylindrical component, right. On this component, let us say this is the axis of component. On this component, torsion is applied. Means torque is applied. Torque T is applied. Now, for this loading, if I consider element on the surface of this cylinder, then this element is subjected to shear stresses, torsional shear stresses. This element is subjected to torsional shear stress tau, torsional shear stress tau, right. Now, which is calculated as this tau is equal to, this tau is equal to T by J, T by J into R. From this torsion equation, we are calculating this torsional shear stress. Now, experimentally, if experimentally the experiment is performed, then experimentally it is found that experimentally it is found that this SSY this SSY or tau maximum is equal to 0 0.58 to 0 0.6 SYT experimentally this SSY shear yield strength is found 0 0.58 to 0 0.6 SYT that means whenever this SSY value reaches to 0 0.58 times or 0 0.6 times SYT then component fails then component fails. This is the meaning of SSY. Right. Now, as per different theories, we have to find this SSY. Right. Now, now first we have to find principal stresses. That is, now that is, if I consider element, then this element is subjected to torsional shear stress tau. This element is subjected to torsional shear stress tau. Now, for this loading, what is sigma x? Zero. What is sigma y? Zero. What is tau xy? Tau xy is tau plus tau. Right. Now, for this element, what is sigma 1 comma 2? Principal stresses that is sigma x plus sigma y by 2 plus or minus under root of sigma x minus sigma y by 2 whole square plus tau xy square. These are the principal stresses. Now, put the values. Therefore, sigma 1 comma 2 is equal to 0 by 2 plus or minus under root of 0 by 2 whole square plus tau square plus tau square. Therefore, you will find that sigma 1 comma 2 is equal to plus or minus tau. That means sigma 1 is equal to plus tau, which is maximum normal stress, which is maximum normal stress, and sigma 2 is equal to minus tau, which is minimum normal stress, which is minimum normal stress, and maximum shear stress. Maximum shear stress is nothing but maximum of maximum of sigma 1 minus sigma 2 by 2, comma sigma 2 by 2, comma sigma 1 by 2. This is how maximum shear stress we have to find. Therefore, maximum shear stress will become sigma 1 minus sigma 2 by 2 this value will come maximum therefore is equal to tau minus minus plus tau divided by 2 which is nothing but tau right therefore for this element for this element we have calculated the principal stresses for this torsional element we have calculated the principal stresses as well as we have calculated the maximum shear stresses as well as we have calculated the maximum shear stresses now this is a case of pure shear this is a case of pure shear now whenever sigma 1 is equal to plus tau, sigma 2 is equal to minus tau and tau maximum is equal to tau, then it is called pure shear case, pure shear case. Therefore, torsion is an example of pure shear. Now, for this pure shear, our target is to find SSY, that is shear yield strength or maximum shear stresses, considering factor of safety is equal to 1, considering factor of safety is equal to 1. Now, we will use different theories. Now, number 1, first theory is Rankine theory. First theory is Rankine theory. Now, as per Rankine theory, the maximum normal stress is equal to SYT divided by factor of safety. SYT divided by factor of safety. Now, here maximum normal stress is tau. 
maximum normal stress is tau which is nothing but again tau max which is nothing but again tau max is equal to factor of shift is 1 we have to consider factor of shift is equal to 1 is equal to s y t therefore which is nothing but s s y tau is nothing but tau max na therefore it will become s s y now my dear students that means theory says that when s s y becomes equal to s y t then component fails but experimentally but experimentally we have seen when this s s y becomes 0.58 to 0.6 times s y t then component fails means the theory predicting more value than points let us say 0.6 s y t theory is predicting more value than 0.6 s y t therefore this theory gives wrong result for ductile material this theory is not used for ductile material not used for ductile for ductile as theory predicts wrong results or false results therefore theory is not used for ductile how how can you say that it is a ductile material as poisson ratio is 0.3 and Young's modulus is 2 into 10 to the power 5 Newton per mm square. These values are for steel. These values are for steel. And steel is a ductile material. Now, whenever poison ratio is more than 0.25, then it is ductile material. Then it is a ductile material. Therefore, this theory is Rankine theory is not used for ductile material as it is predicting wrong results. Now, if I go for another theory, there is gauge theory. If I go for another theory, that is guest theory or Tresca's theory. Second theory is guest theory or Tresca's theory or maximum shear stress theory. Maximum shear stress theory. As per this theory, this tau max is equal to tau max is equal to SSY divided by factor of safety, which is nothing but equal to which is nothing but equal to SYT divided by two factor of safety. SYT divided by two factor of safety. Now, therefore, tau max is tau. Tau max is tau which is the factor of 50 we have to consider 1 is equal to SSY is equal to SSY which is nothing but 0.5 SYT which is nothing but 0.5 SYT means here the theory says that whenever this SSY becomes equal to 0.5 SYT then component fails but experimentally the component will fail when this SSY becomes 0.58 to 0.6 times SYT therefore the predicted value by theories of failure the value given by theories of failure is less than the experimental value which is 0 0.58 to 0 0.6 SYT 0 0.6 SYT therefore this is most safe theory this is most safe theory as it is most safe theory therefore the dimensions calculated by this theory are more the dimensions calculated by this theory are more this will calculate more dimensions therefore it is also called more conservative theory more conservative theory Therefore, say uh, sorry, gauge theory or Tresca theory is called most safe theory as well as it is called most conservative theory. Most more or most conservative theory. Right. Now, this is important as per Tresca theory or gauge theory, SSY is equal to 0 0.5 SYT. As per Tresca theory or gauge theory, it is uh, SSY is equal to 0 0.5 SYT. Right. These relations we are directly using for while calcul while solving previous year gate questions. Right. Now, third theory we will see. Third theory is nothing but St. Venant theory. Third theory is St. Venant theory. Right. Which is nothing but maximum normal strain theory. Maximum normal strain theory. St. Venant theory. Right. St. Venant theory. Now, as per this theory, theory says that sigma 1 minus mu sigma 2 is equal to SYT divided by factor of safety. Now, put the values. Sigma 1 is plus tau minus mu is 0 0.3 sigma 2 is minus tau minus tau is equal to syt divided by factor of 50 is 1 therefore this theory says that 1.3 times tau is equal to syt therefore tau is equal to syt divided by 1.3 syt divided by 1.3 and the value will come calculate in calculator you will find that the value will come 0 0.769 syt now this tau is nothing but tau ssy this tau is nothing but tau max which is nothing but SSY is equal to 0.769 SYT. Now see again this theory is predicting more value. This value predicted by theory is more than 0.6 SYT. Therefore this theory is again giving wrong results. This theory again giving wrong results. Therefore not used. This theory again not used for ductile material. Right. Now third theory, uh, fourth theory is Hex theory. Fourth theory is Hex theory or also called a total strain energy theory. Hex theory which is nothing but total strain energy theory. Hex theory. 
एक थ्योरी टोटल स्ट्रेन एनर्जी थ्योरी एज पर दिस थ्योरी एस वाई टी डी बाई फैक्टर ऑफ सिफ्टी इज इक्वल टू अंडर रूट ऑफ सिग्मा वन स्क्वेयर प्लस सिग्मा टू स्क्वेयर माइनस टू म्यू सिग्मा वन सिग्मा टू पुट दी वैल्यूज देर फॉर अंडर रूट ऑफ सिग्मा वन इज टाउ स्क्वेयर प्लस सिग्मा टू इज माइनस टाउ स्क्वेयर माइनस टू म्यू सिग्मा वन इज टाउ सिग्मा टू इज माइनस टाउ राइट इफ यू सिंप्लीफाई दिस एंड पुटिंग फैक्टर ऑफ सिफ्टी इज इक्वल वन देर फॉर एस वाई टी इज इक्वल टू फैक्टर ऑफ सिफ्टी वन इक्वल टू अंडर रूट ऑफ टाउ स्क्वेयर प्लस टू टाउ स्क्वेयर प्लस म्यू म्यू वैल्यू इज जीरो पॉइंट थ्री म्यू वैल्यू जीरो पॉइंट थ्री देर फोर टाउ स्क्वेयर प्लस टाउ स्क्वेयर दिस माइनस माइनस विल बिकम प्लस टू इंटू जीरो पॉइंट थ्री टाउ स्क्वेयर विच इज नथिंग बट अंडर रूट ऑफ अंडर रूट ऑफ टू पॉइंट सिक्स टाउ स्क्वेयर एंड इफ यू सॉल्व फॉर टाउ दिस टाउ विल बिकम दिस टाउ विल बिकम एस वाई टी डिवाइड बाई अंडर रूट ऑफ टू पॉइंट सिक्स विच इज नथिंग बट इफ यू कैलकुलेट दिस यू विल फाइंड दैट पॉइंट सिक्स टू एस वाई टी पॉइंट सिक्स टू एस वाई टी नाउ दिस टाउ इज नथिंग बट टाउ मैक्स टाउ इज नथिंग बट टाउ मैक्स विच इज नथिंग बट एस एस वाई इज इक्वल टू पॉइंट सिक्स टू एस वाई टी एज पर थियरी बट एक्सपेरिमेंटली द वैल्यू मैक्सिमम वैल्यू इज पॉइंट सिक्स देर फोर विच इज नथिंग बट दिस वैल्यू प्रिडिक्टेड बाई थियरी इज मोर देन पॉइंट सिक्स एस वाई टी राइट देर फोर अगेन दिस थियरी इज फेलिंग दिस थियरी इज गिविंग रॉन्ग रिजल्ट बट लिटल बिट लॉन्ग नॉट अप टू दैट एक्सटेंड दिस थियरी इज प्रिडिक्टिंग रिजल्ट ऑन सम हायर साइड देर फोर ट्राई टू अवॉइड दिस थियरी Try to avoid this theory. Therefore, generally, this theory is also not used for design. Right now, last theory is the last theory is dist distortion energy theory or von Mises and Hincke theory. Last theory is distortion energy theory or von Mises and Hincke theory. Distortion energy theory or von Mises and Hincke theory, which is the name, but Shear strain energy theory. As per this theory, S Y T divided by factor of safety is equal to under root of sigma one square plus sigma two square minus sigma one sigma two. Now put the values. Therefore, is equal to sigma one is tau square plus sigma two is minus tau square minus sigma one is tau sigma two is minus tau. Therefore, you will find that S Y T divided by factor of safety is one is equal to under root of tau square plus tau square plus tau square, which is nothing but under root of Three tau square. Now, therefore, tau you will get S Y T divided by under root three, which is nothing. But if you calculate this, you will find that zero point five seven seven S Y T. Therefore, as per this theory, this tau is nothing but S S Y is equal to zero point five seven seven S Y T. This result is very important. This result is very important, and this value is little bit less than zero point six S Y T. That means this theory is most accurate theory. Distortion theory is most accurate theory. We can say distortion energy theory is most accurate theory. That means dimensions predicted by distortion energy theory are most accurate. Dimensions predicted by distortion energy theory are most accurate. Right. Therefore, while this theory is used for ductile material, therefore distortion energy theory is also used for ductile material. Right. Now. the hence we can come to the conclusion that for ductile material we can use two theories number one gauge theory gauge theory which is also called tresca's theory tresca's theory and as per this theory ssy is equal to 0.5 syt ssy is equal to 0.5 syt and second is distortion energy theory which is also called von mises and encke's theory or which is also called shear strain energy theory as per this theory ssy is equal to Zero point five seven seven S Y T. Zero point five seven seven S Y T. Thank you, dear students. In next lecture, we will see difference between gauge theory and distortion energy theory.